What's going on YouTube? This is what will Josh do and a company asked me if I wanted to make a video on this guy right here. I went ahead and said yes. I'm going to give you my honest opinion of what I think, uh, how easy it is to use. I'm someone who has never really gotten into the drone market before so this is a first for me. I have that little bitty tiny ones but nothing quite this scale of uh, stuff. So this one has a brushless motor an independent ESC, whatever the heck that means, I don't know. 2.4 gigahertz communication. But around the side, it tells you what all comes in the box. You've got the drone, controller, propellers, landing gear, screwdriver, then this little safety guard. So if you hit something, it won't hurt, like hit yourself, it won't hurt. Or if it hits like a wall or something. One battery, which we're going to have to get another battery later on if this thing turns out to be as awesome as I'm hoping it is and then a charger and a camera mount, which it does not include a camera even though it's like very visible in the picture. I do have a camera coming for it though, so that's exciting. Let's go ahead and do an unboxing, then I'll turn the camera off, set it all up, and then make a video of me flying it outside. So we do have uh, some tape we gotta cut here, and then we should be able to be in action. All right. So everything came in here. This also came out of the box. Just some instructions and warranty guides and stuff like that. Stuff you really don't want to read yet unless you get lost or confused. Sometimes I end up having to. And that just looks awesome. I cannot tell you how excited I am. This is, this is exciting. So we've got our screwdriver, a bracket, couple little tiny screws you've got a little a little charger so there we go it uses a little connection that's hard to see I have one little light <laughs> trying to supply light to this table <laughs> then we have the guards and the screws are inside the little thing so that's cool you know which ones are which the blades the uh, landing gear and some more blades and we've got the battery looks like a healthy battery like a pretty good sized battery I'm gonna have to get a couple more of those if it turns out to be awesome we've got the little camera mount so we can put the camera on there and record and then we've got the drone so let's go ahead and pull him out of his stuff this is too cool I'm ah Ah, so excited. So the battery goes in there. Looks like we've got our little antenna for communication with the controller. We've got some sensor or light or something there. Oh, okay. That's where the battery goes to turn it, to get power to it. So it goes in there and then you plug it into that. Interesting. Then one more thing under this. How one, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh man, we've got the controller, which I'm assuming takes four double A's, so there we go. Alright, let me set this up and hopefully the next thing you see is this thing flying. Alright, everything is assembled as I was told, I just don't have the camera mount on because there's no camera. Uh, the light will go solid on the front and then I can press this button right here to activate the blades and slowly give it power. <laughs> Let's go outside and fly this thing. Let's do it. Drone in. Make some nice little sounds. Turn the controller on. Press the red button. And hope for the best. Come back to me. I am very new to this, so I don't know what I'm doing. This way. This way. This way. <laughs> I'm assuming once it crashes, you gotta press the red button again. There we go, got it. <laughs> that 
Now the other side's not working. Okay, now they're all on. Don't do anything. Takes it a second. Press it again. And then press the red button. Maybe that's oh, because the things were up all the way. How far up will it go? I don't know. Uh-oh. Oh! I didn't see it! This time it won't go so high.